What is going on Java Minecraft players that play Java Minecraft with Zalith Launcher? Today I'm going to share a video about a renderer, a better renderer, for versions that are below 1.17. Now, I've shared this renderer before in the past with my mod pack, OptiMobile, for version 1.16.5, but I never really shared the benefits of it for other versions like this one right here. This is 1.12.2. And I am playing what is called the Aether mod. Now, don't ask me what this is. I don't know why there's a whale floating in my world. Some people say that this mod is awesome. And they came to my channel and asked me, hey, this is not working. Can you help me fix it? So I tried every render and finally figured out that this render was the one that fixed it and seems like it's working just fine. Now make sure you pay attention to this because this render is only for certain versions below 1.17 and I think it does work for 1.21.4 and it sometimes does this, okay? Now that is just because the renderer can't handle the mod. Now it can handle shaders, or it can't handle shaders, sorry, doesn't, does not, does not handle shaders, okay? Remember I said that. Um, you can't use like mod packs with shaders with this render for 1.16.5 for example It's also not being actively updated. Okay, this render does not have any active updates as of November of 2025 uh, the last time is when they updated it, it was November 2025 so I don't know why the developer of Zaleth Launcher 2 decided hey, let's put this inside of Zaleth Launcher 2 um, I'm not sure if they're going to get more updates for it or if there's going to be any fixes for it, like whatever that crash was. I'm guessing that crash was an OpenGL error or something that basically made it so it crashed. Again, I don't know what the Aether mod is. I know one thing though, I tested it with RLCraft. RLCraft, I found that it had a more stable performance boost. It also was a little bit more um friendly with that mod pack now you still can't use shaders with it and as you can see here it just wants to crash because it's not fully optimized properly but it does fix certain things like for example if i go install my mod pack let's go look for it here mod packs opti mobile and the one for modrinth and we use 1.16.5 and I use this render, which is called the Krypton render, then this mod pack will work. Again, I will link this in the description below as well, but I already shared a video about this, and I shared a guide about how to get this, but I'm gonna share this video again, just because it seems like some people don't know how to use Google, and people don't understand that some renderers are very helpful with rendering certain versions of the game. Like again, this one right here, a 1.16.5, it has sodium. And if you try to use this without using this renderer, you only have the option of using zinc on a device that actually supports it. As you can see here, 1.16.5, my mod pack, quality, fancy, everything. There's the sodium doing its thing. And I wanna use different difficulty. Hold on a second, here we go. Wanna jump into this world? I can do so very fine because I am using this newer-ish, not newer, it's a newer renderer, but it's not a render that is very well known and some people ask about it. And I'm gonna tell you now, like I'm using a device with the AYN Odin 2 uh, with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor in it. And this isn't gonna be like the best render of all time right now. Um, the one that I always tell people to install, which is for versions above 1.17, is the Mobile Glues render. It's more stable, it's more reliable, and it works for most versions very fine with even shaders, but again, shaders are also dependent on your device. Your device is very, uh, very important when it comes to shaders, but I'm gonna do a video about that too. Again, this is the Krypton Raptor render. I'm gonna show you where to get it in a second here. I'm gonna show you how to set it if you want to use like lower versions and basically enjoy using this one. And let me know in the comments section if you have tried it and found it better than the GL4ES. Some devices don't utilize this render properly either. I'm gonna tell you that now. If you made it this far into the video, congratulations, you just got yourself a Java Minecraft code as well. Not the full code, you only got part of the code. I give away Java Minecraft codes on this channel, 
and I give them away in parts. Sometimes I will tell you, hey, this is part one, part two, part three, or part four of the code. And you have to basically pay attention. I might confuse you. I might put that this is part one of this code. And then I might say this is part four of this code. And then in the next video, I might say this is part five. So if you find a video that says this is part one, follow the videos after that video. So like say I've released a video after this video and check to see if there's a part two. There might not be a part two. There might not be a part three, part four or part five. I might not even put a code. That's the big thing about supporting the channel and keeping coming back to the channel and actually watching my content is that I'm giving away these codes out of the benefit of only you, not me. I'm not gaining anything out of this other than your subscription and maybe watching my videos because I'm trying to give back by, you know, you showing support for me. And also I give back by, you know, you watching my videos all the way through to the end because I make a little bit of money on AdSense and I use that money to give back to you. I'm just gonna tell you that. Do you understand that? That That is something that is very important about YouTube and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that all I'm doing this for is the money I'm doing this just to basically enjoy doing the hobby and also make a little bit of money on the side to continue doing the hobby and share my experiences with all of you. So again, subscribe like share and let's actually jump in and see how well this actual what is it called again tell me in the comment section below called the wrapper renderer or a renderer okay so as you can see there i'm using the krypton wrapper renderer now i might get rid of the better f3 menu out of my uh <laughs> my mod pack because i noticed that it does slow down the game a lot if you have it open anyways let's go to chrome Go to the link in the description below if you want to and you're going to search out this or click on the link obviously krypton wrapper render go to releases and you're going to click on this version right here which is the latest version as of today now i'm going to uninstall my version quickly here and i'm going to install a new one and i already have it so let's install it and click open then press the right button which is the one on right hand side and allow file management access and then close it out now close out a zaleth launcher zaleth launcher won't see the wrapper render until you actually close it out so open it back up now if you installed optimobile for example then all you have to do is click on the settings icon go to version settings and click on the render and select your renderer you can select whatever renderer you want in here and you can also set up other things like your jvm arguments and all that kind of stuff but that's not what we're here for today again same thing so let's install just a random instance for example so let's say i want to install rl craft okay let's do rl craft just because it's there and rl craft let's see there it is let's say i want to use uh that wrapper render with rl craft then i'm going to show you how to set that up really quickly another thing that i've noticed a lot of people asking me is hey what is your device bro well, if it's really relevant to the video, I will tell you what my device is. If it's not relevant, then I won't tell you what the device is because I use multiple different devices. As you can see here, I have even a Samsung S20 FE running right now in the background. And I'm mostly just running this just as a performance test, just to see if the Krypton wrapper render is still working. But yeah, I have different devices that I use all the time. And if I think it's relevant to actually share what devices I have, then I will tell you in the video. Otherwise, don't ask me what device I'm using because I use multiple different devices and I will tell you. Okay, so when you install, let's say RL Craft, for one, you're supposed to use Optifine with it, but I'm not using that right now. You go into your settings of the actual render or the actual loader, okay, or the instance, whatever. After you selected it, click the settings icon, version settings, render, Krypton wrapper, and save. Now this is only for Zaleth Launcher 1. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be doing videos about Zaleth Launcher 2 very soon. Um, Zaleth Launcher 2 is still in production and, or development, I mean, and <laughs> basically just waiting for that one to actually go and get fixed and updated properly and have all the features that Zaleth Launcher 1 has. I still choose Zaleth Launcher 1 over Zaleth Launcher 2 because Zaleth Launcher 2 is still missing a lot of features and I found that some mods on even Zaleth Launcher 2 don't work properly where they do work on Zaleth Launcher 1. So use what you want, but I'm gonna tell you that now I've tested these things a lot and they just work. Now another thing, 
I always like to log my output just to see if anything's happening in the background, which it is, and wait for the game to load. RL Craft, if you know, it is a big mod pack, so we just have to wait for that Mojang screen, which is right there. So let's close this out and wait for it to boot. Now, again, I didn't install Optifine like you should for RL Craft to work nicely, but this is basically me showing you that Yes, the Krypton Wrapper render is a great render, and if you want to try it out, go ahead and check it out, and follow the steps. Have a nice day, enjoy playing Minecraft on your Android phone, or your Android gaming handheld, or whatever the case may be.